we did not uh, invest more attention on dealing with the basics of the commercial and corporate nature of the entities before we thought about privatizing. And the assumption was that, okay, if you privatize, suddenly you increase tariff and then you crowd in resources from investors all over the world and these guys who hit the ground running, put meters everywhere to in order to conserve their money. But they didn't know that for these guys, it's actually perhaps more profitable in the short term to estimate than to meter. So the assumption is that every businessman would like to meter everybody to, to secure their money. But now you have a captive consumer. They have no option. So if we give you a big bill, you complain for one, two weeks, you're out of light. What do you do? You pay. You pay. So first, focus on the regulator. I say the regulator should offer to discuss not more than one, or one, year, one and a half year or two years metering span to finish all metering in Nigeria. This is if they, after six months, you evaluate anybody who has not met up to this, this is what they should slam them with. Mm-hmm. And then the regulator himself should be under punishment. You see, the, 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 the I wanted to ask who punishes, who, who <laughs> regulates the regulator. Is, 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 don't forget that. The, the, they, they have oversight. They delegated yeah. the power to NEC. So they can make a law that mandates NEC. So, so it's not a, not a case of choice that whenever this happens, the NEC must do this. That NEC must punish a defaulting disco. In this manner, so that it's not a case of NEC went and received briefing from Villa or received briefing from market operators. Mm-hmm. NEC has a legal obligation to say, if you don't make this choice, we will punish you. Mm-hmm.